Hello, hello. You are welcome to Divine TV. You are welcome. Relax and be blessed. Love you all. Hello, 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 my brothers and my sisters out there. How are you all doing today? I know you're fine to the glory of the Lord. I know you're fine to the glory of the Lord because if God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody. Nobody. We are more than conqueror. Hallelujah. You are welcome. If today is your first time of being here, you are welcome. My old subscribers, you all are welcome. Okay. So today, I was discussing with a friend, a, 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 a girl, a lady that is about to be a wife so i was discussing with her yesterday after finish advising her i said i still have to bring this out because this is happening out there yes it's really happening let me tell you one thing if you want to be a, a, if you want to marry if you want to be a new couple before you meet and before you met with that man before you met with that guy you know the the, the the job that the man have had you know you you know about the finances you know everything so now you are getting married you are going you are about to be wedded it's not because your friend wed and different cars different a lot of the other are close from from, from dubai the other are close from from china it's not compulsory you must do so it's not compulsory let me tell you one thing that wedding day is not even the male wedding. The male wedding starts from the day you got married to your husband and moved into your husband's home. You're trying to kill yourself to please the people that is coming. That is not the male wedding. You are just killing yourself. You can do your wedding according to the, the, the pockets that your husband, the, the money that your husband has now. There is no two names that they are calling it. Divine wedded. Sister Blessing wedded. Even though you use uh, uh, you use big car, you use uh, 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 Lamborghini, you use big car. That, day, that is not just the wedding. The wedding starts inside the house. That is where the wedding starts. You see today, a lot of people borrow because you want to please the people that is coming because of wedding you want to please the people that is coming you go and buy wedding gun credit you go and buy a, a, a drink credit you go and buy a lot of things credit you go and buy the clothes you want to wear credit you just want to do everything just for people to know that the the, the man you are about to get uh, married to is not suffering that is not it when you want to wait even though you do it leads you even though you do it big wedding is wedding there is no name. There is no two name called. There is no other name that they can call it. It's wedding. Let me tell you one thing. If you don't have money to buy wedding gown, even though it's to meet tailor to sew for you, sew and wear it with joy, with God blessing. All is wedding. If you want to do traditional marriage, it's not compulsory that you must take calopy everywhere. If you don't have it, don't worry. Do your traditional marriage in the parlor and live there. If me, I do my traditional marriage, maybe uh, 20 calopy was involved. You, you did your traditional marriage in the parlor. They will not call my own golden traditional marriage. You remember? They will not call my own. Oh, Sister Divine, have a golden traditional marriage. Oh, no. Sister Divine, have traditional marriage. How do you know that Sister Blessing have traditional marriage? Why are you killing yourself? Why do you want to kill yourself? After you got home, there is no money to take care of the home because the wedding day you are finished it even the money you are holding holding outside is a lot that you don't know how to come out of it but that day of the wedding you were smiling rejoicing bubbly because you feel you have show up let me tell you one thing no matter how you show up to people they will still say they will still see complain to lay about those things that you just try to do 
there are some things that we take, we add stress to, that we are not supposed to add stress to. Like this wedding, like dedication. You see children, do, people doing uh, a dedication in the church. You, because you don't have money, you are at home. Or even though you, you have money or you don't have money, you want to go and borrow just to do that dedication. Is it your baby you want to bless or you want to show up? Me, I don't understand what is going on these days. Do your wedding according to your pocket. Don't put that man in stress because you want to have a, a sister a shebi, because you want to have a, 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 a bride maid that will be going with you, that they will say, wow. No. Wedding is wedding. Wedding is wedding. What matter is that you are wedded. What matter is that now you are not married. You are not committing abomination. That is the most important thing of all. God recognizes that you have, you have been wedded. Don't look at people. Don't let people put you under pressure. Don't let people put you under pressure. Don't let people put you under pressure to go and be doing what you don't supposed to do. Look at the man you are married. You want to wed. Sorry, look at the man that you are going to, to, to marry, that you are going to wed with. Look at the job that he's doing. And plan with him for the future. Not just to squander everything that that man has saved for that wedding day. It's not worth it. Wedding starts. The May wedding starts when you get home. The May wedding starts inside your room. I'm telling you. The May wedding starts inside your room. There are some things that we have to stop. Which is not good. Yes, fine. If you have money, you want to do it big. You want to do it and you know you didn't borrow. Fine. But for you to borrow, to please people, for you to borrow, to tell people, to tell your friends that, no, my wedding is stuck up time. My wedding is the same as yours. Who cares? Who cares? Even some people come to that wedding and be eating. They don't even notice your wedding gown. They don't even notice even that costly ring that you go, out, you, you go and buy. They don't even notice that big... Uh, 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 with one that you go, you, you, you just go and spend your money for. They don't even notice it. Just dress your modestly way. You understand? It's not compulsory you must buy. Uh, no, human hair, uh, my latest human hair, I want to feast on my wedding day. Even though it's your attachment, why not put it on your hair? What you are using before, why not put it? Dress and look good on your day. Be happy. That is what matters. Let God be pleased with your marriage. That is it. You see people today, some, some are in the house. You gave birth. Carry your baby to pastor, let him bless. Is it compulsory that you must, you must call a crowd and do your dedication? It's not compulsory. You see today, holding, people hold a lot of money because you borrow, you want to please people. No, people need to come to my dedication. When they come to my dedication, ah, they go here. Am. You see, this is my daughter, this is my son. No, 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 no. They go here. Am. For you to be doing those ones, you want to show up. That money, why not give it to the orphanage and say, God, I just want to thank you. Or give it to the church. God, I just want to thank you. Or the people that are around you, that you know that they are suffering. God, this wonderful gift that you have given to me, I just want to thank you. Must you go and borrow to do that? Don't borrow to please people. Live according to your pocket. To your pocket. If you borrow and please people, you will continue to live to borrow to please people. Even when they are coming to your house, maybe you don't have that thing in your house. You want to go and buy to borrow and please them. On birthday, you will borrow and please. On wedding day, you borrow and please. No. The Bible says, He who finded a wife, finded a good thing. Be after good thing. Be praying, God, what is that good thing? As I'm going to my home, let those good things follow me and let my husband know that good things have arrived in this home. That is what you'll be concerned of. God, this marriage, help me. Be my teacher. Be my comforter. Be my everything. Be my all and all. That is what you'll be after. Not after who you, who you will satisfy. Not after the way they will be carrying your name everywhere. Ha! Ah, do you see Sister Angela wedding? Hey! Now talk of town, oh, but you borrow money to do it. Don't do that. Don't do that. I told the girl I was discussing with yesterday. Even we discussed today. I said, let me tell you one thing. Stop that thing you want to do. Go and do your wedding the way your husband wants you people to do it. Don't borrow. Because you know, we women, some of the women, not all, you want to be noticed. Who cares? People can talk. They are talking at your back. That's why they will remain at your back. If they talk, you see this woman here. She said, Fisho, on her wedding day, look at what she wear. Look at the food she cook. Look at, and you know that that is what you can afford. 
but do it with joy. If they are talking, do you know the good parts of it? They will not stand in your front and say it. They will be saying it at your back. That's why they will always be at your back. This ear is at the back. So you are not seeing them. Where are they? They are in your back. They will always remain there. But you will be doing that thing that God wants us to do. Be modest. Be modest. That is what the Bible says. In everything you are doing, be modest. Very important. Be modest. When you got home, when you got into that marriage, that is the time you will know that. It's not the May wedding that is the, the, the marriage. The marriage started from the day. You pack your baggages and everything inside. That time you will come and be seeing the jollof and everything. Put God at the center of your marriage. You know what, you know what I like about life? When you put God at the center of your marriage, when you are doing that marriage, not to please any man, but just to tell God, God, I'm going to honor your word. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to uh, 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 fornicate with any man with that I have not wedded with him. I'm going to fulfill your word. When you put that at the center of it, you will see those worldly things, those things that you have after will not be. You will not have you will not have a, a lot of importance to it. You will not have you will not have all those things to it because you just take it normal. Okay, this wedding uh, my husband is receiving social salary, the man I'm going to get married to. Okay, this wedding gun is too cost. It's even more than his salary. Okay, what I will do is to you manage. That is why God said we are a blessing. Women, if things are spoiling, we put it to order. If things want to if our husband wants to spend a uh, 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 rough, we put it to order. A lot of blessings are following marriage. Focus on that blessing, to know that blessing, so that you will be a blessing to your marriage, as the word of God says, not a cost and not a liability and not a problem. You will, you will finish doing wedding, your husband will be crying inside, but you are smiling outside. Nobody knows what you are passing through. Okay, let's try and live according to our pocket. Okay, I love you all. That is, our, that is what I want to bring today. If you want to do the education, if you gave birth, I don't, I don't understand dedication today the baby you are doing dedication that you borrow be doing dedication of the baby is sleeping the baby don't even know what they are doing but you are whole, you are a lot of debt you have it because of that dedication let's let, let's tell ourselves the truth god is not pleased with it carry your baby to the church let pastor bless it yes if pastor bless it god knows your heart god knows your heart let people be saying now uh, why are you after what people will say why are you after what people will say? What are you? Why are you after what people will, will always complain of? Please, be focused. Life is more than that. Be focused and plan with your husband how to be a great person tomorrow. Not how to squander everything today. On your wedding, they want to squander everything today. No. Look at the man's salary. Is he a governor? If he's not a governor, don't don't make him want to do what even governor cannot do. Because you want to please people. Let's try and stop. And let's put God first. If we good put God first, God will humble us to do a lot of things that we feel that is difficult for us. Thank you for coming. And thank you for listening. God bless you. And may God continue to give us humble hearts. May God continue to give us knowledge. May God continue to give us wisdom to live in marriage, to, to, to plan our wedding. We start uh, putting pressure in ourselves in the name of Jesus. I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. You that is confused, God, this wedding, am I going to do it? This dedication, am I going to do it? There is no money. Even though there is money, I don't want to spend it anyhow. May God give you direction in Jesus' name. And you that is looking for the fruit of the womb, you are fruitful. And you that is sick, you are healed in the name of Jesus. The sickness that is going around everywhere right now is never your portion in Jesus' name. I cover those that is sick of it. Be healed in the name of Jesus. If you are looking for a job, you have it in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming here today. Bye-bye. I love you. But Jesus loves you even more better. Ciao.